What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and it's that time of the week we're gonna go on a little fig hunt. So my Walmart looks like they stock the shelves a little bit. We have WWE Mattel Elite 81. There's Shinsuke, Shinsuke, Montez, and of course the new peg warmer, The Rock. These are everywhere in my area. We got Chase Shinsuke, another Chase Shinsuke. We got more rocks. Um, up here we got uh, A Dogs, The Rock, The Rock. No stunning Steves that I see. But I did notice a figure up here. Who do we have? And it is Bianca Belair. Awesome figure. And I keep passing on it. I don't know why, but I keep passing on it. They also have Basic Series 116, uh, Roderick Strong, Kevin Owens. They had both Roddies. They had the green standard version and the black chase. Um, I believe they had two of each. So it seems like maybe it's one per case. Um, every other is how they seem to be distributing it or something like that. Here's Dakota Kai, they had two of her, but I already had her from picking her up at Amazon. So I didn't really get anything, but it was cool to see some stuff on the shelves. And here we have another stocked Walmart basics elite 81 they had some championship showdown two packs of the rock and triple h of course they had a bunch of uh the street profits and the rock and elite 81 here we have more basics from 116 and also some top picks obviously nothing really that we needed a ton of the blue trunks finn balors and aj styles which they're going to have to clear out for basically next to nothing to get people to take these since uh even uh, Christmas season didn't take them away from the store. Uh, they had some AEW belts. Here's Randy Orton and John Cena from the Championship Showdown. Bunch of them. They did have the one Rock and Triple H, like I said. But uh, yeah, nothing really else that was popping out to me. Um, here's some Shinsuke's as usual, some AEW belts, some rings, the beast modes, but nothing we would ever pick up. Over here at the collectible section, they're always stocked at this store. Um, they have like those fig pins, bunch of pops, but um, those large pops are so cool, like the Mickey and uh, the Master Universe ones. But I noticed over here at the NECA section, they had some turtles and they had what I was looking for, which wasn't these turtle two packs, even though they're very cool. Um, I was here for a super shredder and they had it. And man, is this box absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I think it's better than the original shredder. I love the coloring of the purple. So I wasn't gonna let it just sit there. Obviously I'm taking that home, but I wanted to check out these other turtle two packs that everybody's talking about. So this was interesting. I turned down this aisle and I noticed there was nothing on the shelves. And as I got closer to the wrestling section, it was basically stocked. Um, so they had obviously the elites. I noticed one AEW figure, it was Rio, but somebody took a razor blade and cut the women's title out. They did have Stunning Steve, there's Dawkins, Rock, Shinsuke, no Chase Shinsuke's, but they had Bianca. There's another regular Shinsuke. All are up there. Again, no Chase Nakamura's, but I noticed that they had. Boom, Mae Young. First time seeing this in store. She comes with the trophy, the crown, additional hands, the entrance jacket. They had two of them, but um, I already have it from, I believe it was Ringside Collectibles, so I didn't really pick it up. There's Kevin Owens again, Sheamus, Seth Rollins, 
No Dakota Kai's. No Dakota Kai's, which is a good sign. That means these first time in the line figures are of interest to other collectors other than just me who collects one of each guy. But they did have, oddly enough, one Chase Edition Roderick Strong. No green tights, green trunks ones, but they did have the Chase, oddly enough. Um, it's cool to see this shelf stocked even when it's not something that you want or need. Uh, it's just, it's, it gives hope that, you know, things are going to stock. I noticed this uh, Prince Adam, I thought it was funny, this head got knocked off in, uh, in packaging. But nothing else was popping out to me. Everything else was pretty much unstocked, sadly. But it's a good sign that WWE and AEW are getting stocked. And we can't leave without coming over to the collectible section. Even this looked almost like a barren wasteland. Uh, they had King Kong, a couple Toonie Terrors. There we have the Battle of the Bands, Marty McFly. Here's a couple of these loyal subjects. And then I noticed that they had this Toonie Terrors of the Grady Twins. Absolutely awesome. I didn't even know that they made that. And I've been so itchy to get into these Toonie Terrors, but I can't do Ultimates and Toonies, so I'm going to try and stick to the horror Ultimates. John luc Picard came over to the Pops. Nothing was really popping out to me, as I always say. But um, it's always good to look just in case. One day I'm going to find a chase. I've never found a chase pop, but one day. All right, last stop of this figure hunt. I noticed that they stocked up the Masters Universe figures. Um, here they had Ninjor, which is one of my favorite ki uh, figures as a kid. But of course they had a bunch of He-Man, Skeletor, um, Stratos, Battle Cat, Prince Adam. But it's cool to see um, secondary characters in the loop on the shelves. Not much stock for the wrestling. Obviously we have Tatanka, three of him, Nikolai Volkov. We have Build-A-Figure China with the Paul Ellering. Uh, top picks, Braun, Roman Reigns. Here's a Becky Lynch, which I haven't really seen in person, I don't think. So, I mean, it's a great head skin. I think she looks awesome in the black. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it seems like a lot of basics now, they try to go for mostly black attires, which is very interesting. It must be a cost cutting thing. Here's those nano metals, the slambulance, but nothing we really need. I noticed they had a, another little display over here of the WrestleMania ring cart series of Macho Man and Andre. They had more Chinas, more Goldbergs, and more Edges, but no Shawn Michaels. I didn't even realize how much people wanted the Shawn Michaels, especially since he was easy to get on Amazon like a month and a half ago. And then I came over to the pop section and I noticed this. Buy two, get one free of Funko Pop items. As I've been saying in the figure hunts, it seems like they're really trying to um, make the pop section smaller and downgrade it, which is very, very worrisome to me as a fan of Pops and WWE and South Park and all that. Uh, the fact that they're trying to do a buy two, get one free, and they're not stocking the Pops tells me that there's something in line for them to kind of cut down on what their order is going to be or maybe not even stock as many as they used to. Maybe they just don't sell like they used to. Here they have a neck a mystery egg. Um, a lot of people like to do these on YouTube. It's got figures and all different types of um, goodies in it. They were $39.99 though, which I thought was astronomical. Here we have the uh, Kenner Style Hulk. And who's this? Kenner Style uh, Carol Danvers. Don't know who she is, unfortunately. But uh, we're leaving empty-handed. All right, so that's all the time we have for our hunt this week. We didn't pick up too much, but we did get the new NECA TMNT Super Shredder Shadow Master. It's a little bit different than the release version. I think it's personally better. It's like a dark, dark, dark purple, which I love. And uh, he comes with the canister, his staff, the menacing eyes, really cool figure. So hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring books, volumes one, two, three, and four, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.